Yeah, I think there was uh, definitely an, uh, because of the way that it was um, appeared um, in as magazine short stories, I tried to make each part really, really interesting. And so that each part would um, stand as a work of its own. Um, as a as a piece of short fiction as well as a as a piece of a longer narrative to write uh concisely and still and convey emotion um i rewrite a great deal and i will write longer passages that i will cut down to the essence of what i want to get across and i feel like in just walking around you see a lot of moments on the street that convey emotionality. You see them very quickly and just in passing. And, you know, so you try to, in writing about these kind of things, you try to bring it down to the essence of what it is you're seeing and hearing that creates the emotion. It's been a while since I actually lived in a small town in the Midwest. I would describe life as I remember it, from when I was a kid living there um, as uh, very cooperative of necessity. In other words, there was an interdependence between the farms around the small town and the town itself and the commerce that was in the town. Um, and there is a sense, uh, I think, among the people who live there that they know each other and they know each other's stories. Now, sometimes they're wrong. Sometimes they get those stories wrong, but that's kind of okay. It's just, a, it's just this kind of, um, there's a sort of community knowledge that is shared and to some extent relied upon um, as, as people go through the, the, you know, the ups and downs, the rhythms of life. Madrid is probably, you know, the liveliest place I've ever visited. Um, the the sort of public life and the the uh, the gathering of people throughout all hours of the day and night and all the public squares it seems like there's a great emphasis on public life here and and bringing people out particularly in the evening to to get together and to eat and drink and laugh and have a great time um, it's it's just a very very public place with a lot of life everywhere you turn Cuenca is a place unlike any other I've seen. Uh, I remember the, uh, the river is very striking, the old town, which is sort of up on the top of a, a peak, um, and the architecture there and the church there, um, and the rock formations. I guess it's a rock climbing you know, place people go to, to climb rocks. Um, the Ave. It was actually a great experience, the high-speed train. I really enjoyed it. I felt like I could have ridden it, you know, far. Um, and I, I, apparently that has just really opened uh, the, the uh, route from Madrid to Cuenca up just recently, I understand. And um, so it was very, I mean, it was less than an hour. It was a very in enjoyable trip. And um, Cuenca was, I'll, I'll remember Cuenca for a long time. Oh, it was really fun. Um, they have a lot of questions, um, a lot of questions about, uh, you know, uh, it seems like a lot of questions about fame and famousness in America and who's famous and are you famous and do you have an Oscar and <laughs> questions like these. And, and along with a lot of questions about, well, what, do you, what is it like to be a writer? What, what do you do? Who are your favorite authors? What is your favorite book? Um, you know, when do you work, things like that. What advice would you have for somebody who wants to be a journalist or wants to be a writer? So it's a lot of enthusiasm and the schools uh, seemed well prepared. You know, they, they had thought about the book and they've thought about, you know, what are you, their, you know, their vision of a U.S. writer and uh, so it's, it's been really fun. And at the last school they asked me to sign autographs, which is nice.